ethics. You've heard of that, right? We all have them, or at least we think we do. But when it comes to the workplace, what you say or what you do could have a major impact on your career. Here to put your business ethics to the test is Bruce Weinstein. He is ethics columnist for Business Week Online, and he has some great questions for us. Bruce, great to see you. You too, Jerry. All right, I'm going to read the question. All right. I'm going to tell you what I think, and okay. then you can tell me where I don't have ethics, okay? <laughs> Maybe you got them all right. Who knows? All right, number one. Okay. Someone you've just hired seems to be attracted to you, and you're attracted to them. Both of you are single. Would you, A, ask them out on a date, B, have only a professional relationship, C, ask the person if your intuition is correct, and if it is, discreetly pursue a romantic relationship? Okay. So, Bruce, I have to tell you, everybody dates people in the workplace, but everything's different, I think, if it's your boss or someone who's working for you. Well, just because Do everyone you, does uh, it well, doesn't well, make well, it right? Uh, well, wait a minute before you go there. I think the choice that I would make is not even in those choices. What is I that? would say, wait it out. Can, if it's that important to you, maybe you change places in the organization so that you can date that person. That probably is the best way to go. Of the three choices, though, the right one to do is B, have a professional relationship only. Because let's face it, most relationships don't work out. How many people do you know who are married or in a relationship to the very first person they ever dated? No. So when this relationship fizzles at work, you're going to feel uncomfortable, the other person is going to feel uncomfortable, and one or both of you may have to go because the company, uh, is their reputation is at risk, and your obligation to clients may be hurt. Well, and especially because it's employee-employer, the direct report relationship, that makes it more complicated. Well, and it also opens the door to sexual harassment if there's an imbalance of power. Maybe a lawsuit. So there are legal as well as ethical issues, potentially. All right, number two, at a family dinner out, you use your corporate card because you forgot your personal one. When it comes time to do your expenses, you A, put in a client's name whose account has plenty of cash in it, B, mark it as a personal expense and reimburse your employer, or C, ask your boss to approve it because with all the late nights you work, you've missed a lot of meals with your family. Okay, Bruce, my answer is C, B, if you do work late nights. I, I mean, come on. Uh, maybe it makes sense to see if you can't expense it, but I would disclose. Not the best of the three because no? there are two ethical I'm concepts. Wrong? Well, in this, unfortunately, yes. Okay. Because there are two ethical concepts at, at stake here, honesty and fairness. And you are being honest by being upfront with the boss, but other coworkers presumably worked long and hard, and if they don't get the perk, uh, it's unfair to them. How are they going to feel? Well, what if when, I negotiate my own perk, Bruce? Does that, I mean? But again, you have to think about, or at least the person who's authorizing this has to think about how this will affect the morale of everyone, and also really what's fair. You have to treat like cases alike, unlike cases alike. All right, unalike. so you just have to, to pay for the dinner yourself. All right, number three. <laughs> In a public restaurant, you overhear colleagues discussing confidential clients information and mention the client by name would you a ignore it b talk with your colleagues about your concerns and leave it at that or c report them to your supervisor this is tricky yes it is i think the problem is that the problem it's already happened it's out there yes. you can't correct it I don't want to go to the boss because I don't but want to tell But can't you prevent future occurrences if these folks were to have I would such talk a, to them. That's right. Talk with them and leave it at that. Because if you do nothing, as Edmund Burke said, all that is necessary for evil to flourish is for good people to do nothing. So it allows a problematic situation to continue. Huh. And if you blow the whistle, that's probably too harsh a response. Unless your company requires you to inform them, talking with them in most cases will take care of the problem. Just bringing it to their attention is enough to to uh, put an end to it. Are there any basic rules of thumb you would tell people in the workplace, ways of making these decisions yes. without having to consult someone else? There are five basic principles. Do no harm, make things better, respect others, be fair, and be compassionate. And these are principles that apply not just in business, but in every relationship and in, in every social context. And these are the principles that apply in medicine and law as well. So these are five basic rules. And by the way, we put this quiz on the AC360 blog, so viewers can go to that, right. take the quiz, and there are a couple of other questions too. Bruce, thanks for your help today. <laughs> thanks, we really Jerry. appreciate it.